Again, good morning from uh, Bull Mountain Dam in Jamaica, Vermont. Beautiful, very beautiful scenic area. There's a hike we're going to take on the West River Trail. Uh, it's about two miles to Angel Falls. And uh, when we get there, we'll try and pick this up again. Yesterday we hiked Magic Mountain. It's about 2,400 feet. We got about, with about... Uh, 1500 vertical. We did about 1250 before we had to turn back. We were doing some serious bushwhacking to the place where we could not continue. We had to turn around and come back. Uh, but we learned the secrets of how to get up there on the, on the road, on the maintenance road. So we'll get back there to activate that peak. So that was a failed day yesterday. But we got some serious hiking in and uh, stretched our muscles. Hi, See here you we are at um, the West River. And the Bull Mountain Dam is right there, just west of us. Here's the river. It's a beautiful day. It's probably in the high 60s, low 70s, and no bugs. We just saw what looked like a loon swimming out there. I don't know where he went. Um, we're going to have to backtrack and go back up that road over to the trail to the falls. But in the meantime, this is just a beautiful place. And I just stuck my hand in the water. It's relatively warm. You could probably swim in it. There's a loon over there. Very peaceful spot. You can see there's the dam over there with the observation deck going out. We've walked out there. It's quite a view going up the West River from standing out there. Who built the dam? What? Who built the dam? I don't know. <laughs> built by the Army Corps of Engineers, <laughs> part of the flood control to, for the Connecticut River. There are a series of dams on the West River going down towards Brattleboro. There's a Townsend Dam, which is about probably five miles further to the east. And anyway, up behind that, group, uh, that notch there is Hamilton Falls, probably one of the most dangerous falls in Florida. Vermont. In Vermont. <laughs> Thank you, honey. I'm <laughs> having a lot of senior... Any waterfalls in Florida. There's a lot of, I'm having a lot of senior moments. There's our loon out there again. Anyway, we're heading off to Angel Falls, and we'll get there eventually. Bye-bye. through the green tunnel of Vermont. Oh, stream crossing. 
a little straight. Anyway. Oh, there's the river down there. You can see it through the trees. Can't see the camera? Now I can. Right. Well, we've arrived at the top end of the falls, Angel Falls, and it goes down through there. And we're going to try and find if there's a way to get down there by the river where it comes out. So how'd you how'd you like the hike, honey? It was very nice, very easy. It was a nice, gentle hike. No bushwhacking. The mosquitoes came out; they found us, but uh, They're not that bad. No bushwhacking. <laughs> That's true. So we've been following those purple blazes there. I see there's a trail going up that way too. So. Looking across into those woods a bit, without a marked, defined trail, it would be very easy to get lost out here. We realized. Because everything looks the same. <laughs> so without the trails map and uh, which I kept and carrying right here, carrying my trail map. We always carry our maps and a compass. Sometimes GPS, but we didn't carry it on this trip because this is a short, well-defined hike. So we didn't bother carrying the GPS. Although I like it to collect the stats, but anyway. That's it. Oh, how beautiful. Very nice. Okay, that's good. Wow. Look up the river that way. Wow. Wow. This is why we hike. Of course, you can't see this from the road. This path goes all along the river. Yes, it does. Probably, yeah. Yeah, it does. I looked on that. Yeah. Channel. You know that? See that summit out there? That may be the summit we climbed yesterday, honey. That may be the Beatty Mountain Range right there. If I'm, if I'm thinking, yeah, that's probably what we hiked yesterday. This is unbelievable. Let me get us get me into the scene. Oh. Well, it took us about a little over an hour hike from that sign that we started at. And we took a little detour included in that down to the, to the river. But this is absolutely magnificent here. A nice little short hike for today. Do you, does that pause when you touch the screen? No. It does. No, it doesn't. Okay. Still learning this camera. This is the West River, by the by, and right around the bend there is that dam we saw earlier. So we just walked all the way through there around the corner, which is about a mile. And we're trying to get down to the falls, which is down in there, but it doesn't seem like to be an easy access. We're going to have to figure that out. We came from up in here. Oh, stay behind me. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, don't carry your pole pointing straight back at me. That's the purple blaze that we're following through on this trail. Lavender, maybe. Pretty. <laughs> the lavender blaze. And Alice matches the blaze today. <laughs> oh, yes, I planned it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Must be coordinated with the blazes. We're coming down a somewhat of a steep. It's hard to tell on the camera, but anyway. We're coming to a, a brook crossing. Temperature must be about 67. I think it's blazing. So I'm thinking it's about 65 degrees back here where we're hiking under the, cano under the canopy of the pines. Very comfortable hiking. Uh, sounds of the stream really come through the trees nice. This is a high pine forest here. These are probably spruce. We're in an open area, but we're going to get further ahead into what I call the Green Tunnel, Vermont Green Tunnel. That bell you hear, it's called a bear bell. You carry it on your, hook it on your pack. As you're walking, it tinkles a little bit. I like that word, tinkles. Anyway, it's just to let the bear hear you coming so you don't come up on him all of a sudden. It's a little bit of a precaution. Although we have never seen a bear in Vermont, have we? Not hiking, we've seen them on the road and stuff. But we do it as a precaution. Never say never. <laughs> we don't carry any weapons. We've seen bear prints. Yeah, oh yeah. Moose and, prints. And moose tracks. Moosey, moosey tracks. Alice has saw a moose in Vermont. Well, we both have. But. And we saw some chipmunks before. Anyway, we're on our way out. We have about a mile hike total out from Angel Falls. This was a very nice find. I had stopped in at the Army Corps of Engineers office at Ball Mountain Dam. And those places are great resources, ranger stations for maps and information about hikes that are available in the area, easy ones. Don't also, the, the uh, local chamber of commerce yeah. have a lot of information, too. I've actually developed a whole library, if you will, of free maps and booklets. Another river cross, another stream crossing here. And guides. And we've taken advantage of all of that to plan our hikes and day trips and stuff. So we get the most out of Vermont. My friend Alan, we stay at my friend Alan's house near Mount Snow. We're just about 20 miles from where we are right now. And he says, of all the people, he's got all these friends from the city that come up here on the weekends to skiing or whatever. That's whatever. New York City. The New York City or Boston area. <laughs> Who don't do <laughs> near as much as we do. Anyway, so he enjoys our company. Anyway, this pole is getting heavy with the camera at the end, so I'm going to shut this one down for a second. And see you when we get out of here. Bye.